in this video i will talk about the applications of semiconductor diode you will see most of the applications of semiconductor diode in the field of rectification if we look around us we will see most of the electronic devices such as radio computers mobile require dc supply to work properly but in our household we have ac supply from the power grid at a voltage level of 230 volt with frequency 50 hertz or 60 hertz now to work with our electronic equipments we have to supply dc voltage now we have two options to supply dc voltage to the electronic equipments either we use battery or some system which can convert the ac supply into dc supply the system that is used for this purpose in the power supply section of any electronic equipment is called rectifier so what is rectifier rectifier circuits convert bidirectional alternating voltage into unidirectional voltage let's say i have an alternating voltage here this is a bidirectional voltage because it will have both half cycles positive and negative half cycles let's say i will apply this input voltage in a rectifier circuit so if i apply this bidirectional voltage in the rectifier if the rectifier is a full wave rectifier i will get an output waveform like this or if the rectifier is a half wave rectifier i will get an output waveform like this now you will see the output voltage will have only positive values because the output voltage will never cross this zero axis or this horizontal line therefore our output voltage will always be positive or zero see here we have both positive and negative half cycles that's why i have called this waveform as bidirectional voltage here we have only positive values so our bidirectional voltage will be converted into unidirectional voltage in the rectifier output in other words we can say the rectifier circuits convert ac into dc if you are familiar with the dc waveform you may have seen this kind of waveform a dc waveform or a dc voltage will maintain a constant voltage difference across two terminals with respect to time here we define the rectifier that it will convert the ac voltage into a dc voltage but here the rectifier output is not a pure dc voltage it contains dc component as well as ac components that's why this rectified output is often termed as pulsating dc in a pure dc voltage there is no pulsation but here although we can filter out a pure dc voltage from this rectified output which i will show you in the last section of this video using a simulation but it has pulsation in the waveform that's why this is called pulsating dc the rectifier circuits are primarily classified into two types half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier half wave rectifier will give us output voltage for only one half cycle of the applied voltage that's why this is called half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier will give us output voltage for both half cycles both positive and negative half cycles of the applied voltage full wave rectifier is further classified into two types full wave bridge rectifier and full wave rectifier with center tap transformer full wave rectifier will rectify both the half cycles so i will get an output waveform like this in the rectifier output this is called prize rectifier because the construction of this rectifier circuit will be same or it will look alike wheat stone prize circuit and for this rectifier circuit we will use a center tab transformer therefore it will be known as full wave rectifier with center tab transformer you will find the application of semiconductor diode in the clipper circuit clamper circuits voltage multiplier circuits and logic gates 
in my previous videos i have discussed this four topics thoroughly so if you have any confusion regarding these four topics i will suggest you to check my previous videos now let me run the simulation so that you can have a better understanding of the rectifier circuit here i will show you that an alternating waveform will be converted into a pure dc waveform by using rectifier circuit while talking about rectifier circuit i have told you that i will apply an alternating voltage in the input of the rectifier it will give us an output of this waveform or this waveform and i have told that this output waveform will contain both dc and ac component and from here we, we can get pure dc waveform by using a filter and voltage regulator network now i will show you a simulation so that you can have a better understanding of how do we convert an alternating waveform into a pure dc waveform like this using the rectifier circuit see this circuit is also known as power supply circuit here it will have total five blocks first one is transformer the secondary voltage of the transformer will be applied at the rectifier circuit the output of the rectifier circuit will be connected at a filter circuit and the output of this filter circuit will be connected in a regulator circuit and the output of the regulator which will be a pure dc voltage that will be applied at the load in the primary side of a transformer we apply a voltage let's say 230 volt 50 hertz frequency alternating voltage that means our waveform will be like this this transformer will be a step down transformer therefore let's say this transformer will step down the input voltage to a voltage of 12 volt 50 hertz and we will apply that step down voltage at the input of the rectifier the rectifier will give us a pulsating dc voltage of this waveform here i will use full wave rectifier so i will draw the waveform of full wave rectifier and this rectified output will contain both ac and dc components so it will be termed as pulsating dc this pulsating dc will be applied at the filter network to remove the ac components so i will get a nearly pure dc voltage at the output of the filter circuit now to get a stable output i will use a regulator the regulator will give us a constant or fixed dc voltage as a regulator we can use an ic regu regulator ic from 7 8 series or 7 9 series or i can use a jenner diode because a jenner diode acts as a regulator when it is reverse biased okay if i want positive voltage i will apply i will use 7 8 regulator ic if i want negative voltage i will use 7 9 regulator ic or if i want to get a fixed regulated voltage i can use a jenner diode also now the output of the regulator will be a pure dc voltage or constant dc voltage and we can apply that voltage in a load load means the equipment that will absorb the dc voltage here as a load i have used 10 kilo ohm resistor we can use any electrical equipment as load because electrical equipments are run by dc voltage or we can use a dc motor as a load now let me show you the circuit structure see here instead of transformer i have used a signal source of 12 volt peak 50 hertz frequency this will act like the secondary winding of a transformer and i will apply this sinusoidal voltage at the rectifier circuit here we will take the output across this terminal and this terminal see this voltage will be applied in the capacitor filter network here at first i will show you the input waveform see this is our input waveform which is a pure sinusoidal voltage it will have two half cycles this is positive half cycle and this is negative half cycle that voltage will be applied at this terminal and this terminal that means in this rectifier now let me show you the output of the capacitor filter you will see in the capacitor filter i will get a nearly ideal dc voltage see this will be the output of the capacitor filter here you will see the output of the capacitor filter have a slide up and down around a constant voltage see it see it has slide up 
and down up and down around a constant voltage and see it has maximum voltage of 10 volt and minimum voltage of 10.117 volt so if i take the average between these two voltages i will get that constant voltage around which this triple voltage has slide up and down in the waveform so i will apply this voltage in the 7809 regulator ic 7809 that 78 seven means it will give us positive voltage 09 means i will get a voltage around 9 volt in the output of this regulator ic see if i show you the output you will see i will get a PODC voltage in the rectifier output see this voltage will have a voltage of 9.522 volt here we are applying a pure sinusoidal voltage and in the output i am getting a pure dc voltage so i can convert an alternating voltage into a pure dc voltage by using a rectifier circuit in addition to filter and voltage regulator network okay that's it thank you